Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to talk about the Omega XCAL 500 keyless entry slash alarm system I bought a while back for my 03 Honda Element. And um, one of the reasons I want to talk about it because recently I had my carbon fiber remote that my dad was using sort of short out and killed itself for some reason. I I'm not too sure, but it drained the battery and it made the alarm system or I mean the keyless entry system go into weird modes. Um, I didn't have the alarm portion or the horn uh, installed so I didn't exactly know what was going on but the lights kept blinking for some reason. Um, so I figured something was going on with that remote because my black one seems to be working perfectly fine and it is still working fine. It's a little bit worn here and there on the buns like the buns are a little bit faded but still working fine. But yeah the carbon one drained itself and I don't know what happened and I went on the original website, Omega Research and Development. I emailed their um, customer service, and they emailed me back within a day or two. And they just said, pretty much, um, just send in the remote, and we'll, I guess, fix it and send it back to you. And I was surprised that they didn't ask for any information of where I bought it or anything. I, I actually never registered anything like it, so that was pretty cool. Um, they were pretty f uh, cool with it. And I sent it in, and they sent it back to me. Um, UPS, I guess, somehow decided to crush my ori original remote, and this one does not work at all. I might be able to salvage the battery in it, I guess, if I ever needed a second battery, but I'm not too sure. And as you can see, there's a package that uh, both remotes are sitting on, and you can see it's sort of crushed by something dirty, like a wheel. Um, but anyways, I emailed uh, Omega Research and Development back, and they said, well, um, make a claim with UPS and I did and they sent me a brand new remote within a couple days and um, the thing is I just wanted to talk about it is because it seems like th that company is pretty cool with the warranty information all that and you know just wanted to say something out there like thanks to them but yeah they took care of it and I was fairly happy with it even though I didn't really spend that much for the remote and some other companies are you know, a big hassle with warranty and all that. And I'm surprised at how, you know, cheap I bought this whole system for and they replaced it at no charge. Of course, I had to spend a couple dollars here and there for shipping, like one or two maybe. Um, but, you know, that's perfectly fine with me. Um, anyways, here's the new remote. It's brand new and works great. I just programmed it yesterday to the car. Um, the, you, of course, do you do the, need a manual because I, without the manual, I don't think I could have actually set it up. But anyways, if you don't and you want to know, it's find the original uh, module that they hooked up in your car or that you hooked up in your car. Find the valet button, turn the ignition to on, press the valet button five times within like 10 or 7 seconds. You have to press the remotes that you want to activate. And after you do that, your old remote that's already activated to that module will actually be erased. So you actually need to do both at the same time. It took me like five minutes. It was fairly easy. But yeah, um, you know, it's cool that they sent me a brand new remote. And I'm fairly happy with them. So, you know, definitely it's a pretty cool company. I really like their stuff. And hopefully I plan to buy more products from them soon. Um... I'm not sure how the remote went defective. They never really told me the problem, but I'm guessing the board inside decided to short out itself because my dad really never used the remote. I actually drive that car more than him now. And yeah, I guess if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to let me know. I'll try to reply to you as fast as I can. And other than that, thanks for watching.